Nestled on the shores of the Cowichan River is the Cowichan River Wilderness Lodge. Only an hour away from major cities Victoria and Nanaimo, it's easy to access, yet truly secluded. Lodge owner Kenzie Cuthbert will be guiding us on this adventure, and with over two decades of guiding experience, his knowledge of the river is second to none. So today, we're drifting the Cowichan as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you in part by The Frog Boat, inspired by nature and genius by design. Able, the reel for the record books. The Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, making fishing in BC even better. And Arctic Adventures, providing memorable fishing experiences since 1969. Need some fish to be agreeable. There's one right there. Okay, let some line out. Another five, ten feet. Ten feet. That's really close. There he is, right there. You're lying straight in line with him right now. See him coming across to the left? No, That's a steelhead. I... Oh, is it? Yeah. He's Over right there? behind. No, he's right behind your line right is now. It? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, see, see he just moved to the yeah, right. He just moved over There's here. two now. Two, yeah. Try to run it right by him. That should be pretty. You see him now yeah. in the window there? That should be pretty close. Very close. There's two together. Yeah, right there. One's about five to eight feet in front of the other. Right there. Oh. There he's moving, but he didn't need it. Oh, <laughs> oh now he's over this way now. Oh, he's moving towards yeah, it. Yeah, he's following it. Now he's gone. Oh. <laughs> Unreal, that's awesome. You see him come across, yeah, you see to move, him with move with the fly. Man. There's a bunch there. I can probably see three. Yeah, right now. that's tough, isn't it? Oh, yeah, look at that little pocket. Oh, there. Oh, oh you had him? It. Yeah, I had him. Right there, right in that little pocket, right where I thought he'd be. Excellent. Nice rainbow. A rainbow? Yeah, a little bow. Where is he a brown? Oh, he's a brown. I don't oh, know. That's a rainbow. Well, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it, is. Is. it is. So much for uh, fishing for a brown in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we knew it was brown water. There he is. Nice there. bow. Nice and clean. Oh, look at that. Flies out. <laughs> oh, barbless. Yeah, yeah, barbless is great. A lot of the fish you're going to see in the river this time of year are um, really dark. Look at that, eh? It's a pretty color. Beautiful. Post spawn, this guy here probably didn't spawn. Really, it's just gorgeous. a nice little guy. Silver. Yeah, gorgeous color. All right, well, he's a little guy. Yeah, it's Let definitely not huge, but. Hey, it was a good start. It's a good right. start. He hit yeah, it hard. He did. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're let him go? Yeah, sure. Let's let him go there. Stop pretty the colors, real pretty colors. Well, there, there he goes. goes. All righty. Hey, 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 you hey, got hey, something? hey, hey. Well, <laughs> you know, we've been out here about. Uh, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Saw some steelhead early. Uh, you know, we saw brown. Had a couple of hits. Had a couple of takes, couple but they're times, real. But they're just not really charging yet. No, you know, this run here, you have to work out pretty hard to get a rainbow. Yeah. yeah. So the brown's a little bit off so far, but uh, yeah. Okay. We're just starting. First hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. 
It's anticipation. I always like the anticipation for after. Let's put some twitches on it right there. Beautiful, you're right in the spot. Oh, yeah, right. We're just going right over top. Oh, oh, that fly was just twitching along that edge. Yes, it was huge. And I just had it up and he just came right up after it. Oh, oh man. he was massive. That was six pounds. That was a beautiful brown. Oh. <laughs> you know, because I was just dancing in front there and I thought that's a great place okay, for you're a right brown. Tight. That thing was huge. Was it ever? <sighs> and he missed my fly. <laughs> just go into the right. Just along the edge. Oh, that was that a, was a big brown. That was a big brown, no oh, man. <laughs> Darn. Pretty water in there. Beautiful water. Yeah. That big big boulder you're coming to right there. Yeah. Just make sure you tight line when you go by that. There oh, he there is. We there we go. Fish on. Oh yeah. All right. Nice. Not as big as the last one you were hooked up, that's but that's all right. We'll take them all. We'll take them all. Ooh, that's nice. not it's bigger than I thought he was. Hey, he's nice. Nothing like the size of the last brown we saw. No. Oh, no, no that no. was. You would have ate that one. That was just a huge brown. We, I dapped the fly in right in front of this log, and this big six-pound brown plus comes up, and misses it. Oh, too much fun. He's ready to go. Oh, pretty browns, you know. Browns are. Just a special fish, aren't they? They, they are. They look so neat. We are so lucky to have them in the river here. Look at all the spots, and it, you'll find every one of them is so individual. You'll get red spots in them. Some will have maybe, you know, 20 spots. Some will have 100 spots. Yeah. But they're really cool. Gorgeous. Oh, look at how pretty they are. There he goes. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> brown. A little rainbow, a little brown. Cut through you know the steelhead, what? slam. That's right. Got to keep we, some pressure on us. Well, of course. And we got, but we got the whole, essentially the whole day. A couple yeah, we're hours out just here. starting. Two hours in. And they're just kicking on. So it's about what, 10, 10, 30 right now. Yeah. They're starting to crank up. Yeah, you've had three hits in the last five minutes. Yeah. The big just, guy and then another one and yeah. this guy. They're starting to come so, up. So it's good. Hey, it bodes Let's well. go get them. Let's do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start rowing and see yeah. that tree where it ends on the end? Yeah. The left. The smooth water. Yeah. You're gonna put it up over into there and on the surface. Okay. Bring it back out. That's where that big brown's gonna come up and eat it. I hope so. There we go. Fish on. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's a nice one. That's a nice brown. That's a nice brown. Nice cast. Wow, you make the cast hole right where you want me to put it, and he ate it. That's a nice one. Yeah, we'll pull in around the corner here and uh, bring him in. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Oh, that's a beautiful brown, eh? Look at that, wow. eh? Wow. Oh, there's a the fly. Very nice pattern. Be careful oh, with your yeah. fingers in his mouth. If he bites you, you'll yeah, know. Yeah, I know it. They got, they got teeth. Oh, don't is they? that gorgeous? Oh, that eh? is. Look at that. Look at the colors. See what I mean about the spots, eh? Oh. Less spots, big and red ones. Oh, I know. Gorgeous fish. So that's going to be uh, probably 19. Yeah, that's a beautiful brown. Well, let's get her in the water. I'll let you. Okay, I'll let you hold the net. Okay. Put it in there. Gone. Gone. Yeah. Man, we're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Again, it's all about the cast, too. You, you called it. You said, you know, that's the pocket. We see it on other rivers, too, for browns. Always big logs, a little bit of slack water behind. You make a good cast where the fly lands in that slack water and comes out, those browns just come up and whack it. That fish was all over that fly, but you put it in the perfect spot. Tightened up. Yeah. The fly just starts to come out of there, and, and he boom. was on. And he was on it. Right on. And they're getting bigger. I love it. And I lost a nice little steelhead in there too before that. So yeah, well, I love it. Oh, that guy just rose in there. Yep. Oh, I had a hit. That's a good brown. Good brown. Oh, Ooh, nice. Big brown. Big brown. Look like oh, a pretty good boy. size. That's a nice size brown. Oh, yeah. He's he's hunkering down nicely. So you're going to have to go to the big net. I'm going to have to use the big you're net. You're going to have to use mine. Let's use the big net for that. <laughs> 
Browns are fun, you know. Browns are, are fun because they're tough. They're not easy fish to get. You, you hunt them. for them. You hunt for them, yeah. You got to make good casts, you know. it's you, you know the spots, right? You know where they sit. You got to have a good feel for it. But, man, if you... Ooh, that's chunky. Yeah, if you make the look good cast. That, eh? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, oh man. Look at that's the belly. That's a gorgeous brown. It's kind of... I think he's ready. Yes! Oh, yeah. You know, that's what you come to the couch and for, isn't it? You know, it's special. Like, it's unique. Oh, it's you don't have a, to go uh, that is a gorgeous. Patagonia or no. Alberta. You can come here. Exactly. You know what we're going to do? You know, let's go to the bench. I know you got the beautiful tie, fly tying section set up in the house. Yeah. We'll go there and tie up these patterns because... You know, we got a choice of three or four that we put on today. They're all that olive color, though, aren't they? Kind of all sparkly. Yeah. And, I don't know. You've got you got a bunch of things you have. Some with flash, some without. Yeah. Um, but there's a result. That's not bad. And the thing I love are the eyes and tubes. You know, those little eyes and tubes help it get down. And you know, that's your product. It, it is. Works great. So let's go to the bench, and when we come back, we'll show you the this fish. Today on the bench, we're going to tie you up the eyes and tubes flash zonka. And I'm going to have Kenzie Cuthbert ties for us since he's the originator of the pattern. This fly works great when fished down and across for steelhead and browns using a heavy sink tip line. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the base tying hook, we're going to use a one knot stainless steel. For the stinger hook, we'll use a size 6 curved stinger. Some 6 aught orange thread to tie with some 12 millimeter 5.4 red barbell ENTs for the eyes, some bright green angel hair for the body, some olive bucktail for the wing, some olive deer hair for the collar, and some olive deer hair for the head. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, gonna pierce the eyes onto the main body hook. And this is a one aught hook. Secure my hook into the vise. Next thing I'm going to do is going to apply a base layer of thread from the eye of the hook. Just go about uh, half an inch down to start with here. This is where I'm going to be placing the eyes. Let's clip off this excess thread. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of head cement where the eyes are to be located. And I'm going to slide my eyes into place. Approximately, I'm going to leave at least an eighth of an inch between the eyes and the eye of the hook. And then I'm going to tie these eyes down. Okay, so I'm going to just crisscross these eyes. And when doing this, and the cement I've added underneath squeezes the plastic down, it really locks these eyes in place. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the top of each eye and then go across. This is going to help suck the eyes down so it puts the weight below the shank of the hook. We want this hook to ride exactly like this with a stinger, so our stinger is hook up. So my next step now, I'm going to run this thread down the shank of the hook in preparation for where I'm going to run my stinger. I'm going to put a base layer, so anything I put on here, nice cement, is going to stick really well. Down to the bend end of the hook, I'm going to put a little bump there of thread, and now just a half hitch, just to hold that tight. The next step now is I'm going to add my stinger. This is a pre-tied stinger hook, a curved hook. That's a size uh, 6, this particular one. And I use a very hard, stiff mono. It's 20 pound. I'm going to put it through the eye of the hook, run it back. So I'm going to leave it about oh, 3 quarters of an inch to an inch behind the main body hook. When I tie this in, a couple of wraps. I'm going to make sure that this stinger is sticking straight up, which it is. And I'm going to clip off this little extra bit of mono there. And my next step is I'm going to run my thread forward, securing all of this mono down onto the hook. While doing this, I'm also forming a bit of a base layer for the remainder of the fly. A half hitch, make sure if I break my thread, I don't lose what I've done. Then my next step is to add this very bright angel hair. And so we're going to clip it off. I'm going to actually put it on in little segments around the fly. You really don't need too much of this stuff. As you're going to see, the flies in the water are really, really bright. Put a little piece on the top. I'll just add another little bit onto the bottom. 
and just secure that in place. I'm going to run my thread up to the eyes, just behind the eyes. Clip off a little bit of this excess here. Don't want it to be too, too long. My next step is I'm going to choose some uh, bucktail. It can be either lighter or darker. This I'm going to kind of, bit of a mix of light and dark. Bit of a darker olive back on this fly. I'm going to tie this in just on top of the eyes, maybe slightly back from them, but not much for a wing. Tie these in. I'm going to taper the front of the fly here a little bit ready for finishing it off with the deer hair collar and head. My next step is I'm going to add the deer hair collar. I'm going to hold that in place. Get a wrap around it. Make sure it's where I want it. I'm going to pull it secure. And I'm going to lift this back up, back towards the uh, stinger end. A few wraps around here, and that's going to hold it up, keeps that deer hair up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip off uh, a little bit more deer hair. I'm going to lay it between the eye and the hook. Nice little wrap around there, make sure it's where I want it. And I'm going to tighten it, lift up this hair, and then tie off in front of the deer hair to the eye of the hook. And what this is going to do is it's going to finish off the head, lift that deer hair up to where I want it. If you notice what I've done is I put all the deer hair on the top above the eyes. This is also to help this fly ride with the hook up. A little bit of a whip finish here. Tighten up my thread. Now I'm just going to make sure it's even around the way I want it to look. And I want this orange to show up. Now my next step, I'm just going to turn this fly over. I've done a bit of a whip finish in it and I'm going to cement it underneath just to lock everything in place, keep those eyes secure. I'm going to trim my thread and then we're going to give them a haircut and shape it to the desired head that we want to see on this fly. My very last step, we're only allowed one hook, so we're going to clip off this body hook. So we just clipped off the bottom of the base front hook. There's your stinger. And that's an Eisen Tubes flash zonker. Oh, wow. there it is there. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. There is a cow from River Brown. That's as nice as they get, isn't it? That is Pretty. just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous shape. Fish. She's gonna want to go right away. Oh, it'll be fine. It's probably oh, yeah. not out of the water. And... Yep, it's got the whole tail in the water. There it goes. Wow. Right on. Too nice, man. We're just, just rolling morning. along. Still in the morning. Still in the morning. And we got, uh, we've had shots of steelhead. We've had shots of the browns. We've got the rainbows. It's only getting better. Yeah, we're going to go look for some cutthroat. <laughs> oh, hey, that's right. I need, well, I got to get the steely and that. Steely and a cut for the slam. For the slam. And I had the steelhead on. Yeah, had. Had, had the heat on them, but I'll keep going. Keep okay. Trying. Nice. Let's uh, get back to her. Oh, oh he turned on it. <laughs> he chased it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome though when you can sight fish them like that. I think that's just brilliant. Oh, yeah. So we're hoping for the steely. And he got the bow. That's okay, at least yeah. he hit her. Yeah, we'll just time to hook him. Just oh, a, come on, there we nice go. Nice little guy. Okay, so we're just gonna. Yeah, just put him back in there. Nice little, nice there little goes. bow. But right where Steelhead was back to set. I mean, we went through three or four, right? I don't, like the first time ever I've seen a Steelhead sit in a back eddy. Right on the bank. I just couldn't believe it. Had yeah, to be just 17, 15, 15, 17, 15 17. anyways. Big, big fish. A nice shape, too. Oh, chrome. Clean. Clean. Yeah, well, just relax and have, take it cool till exactly. we showed up. And one thing that we should probably tell everybody, too, is that's where you spend a few days. You know, when you come out, we always like to spend minimum three days. You almost have to, don't you? Well, you never know what's going to happen weather wise, what yeah. the fish are going to do. And yesterday was a really tough day fishing here. Yeah. And today, 
Today's been good. It's you know, awesome. we've had a lot of a lot yeah. of shots of some big fish, and you know, tomorrow expecting good things too. Great well, things. Well, now we know where they're sitting. We know where they're living. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. Oh, somebody. Yeah. Somebody was there. There. I got him. You got him. I got him. Yeah. I don't know if it's steely or not. It's a but big brown. It's a nice one. Big brown. Yeah. Big brown. Oh, nice. Yeah, I knew I was close to him. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. There's quality, eh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh man. man. You sight fished him. That's like the just great. You know, the best thing in the world is sight fishing for him. You can see him sitting back there. You gotta measure out your leader, measure out the length you think you're at. Let it let the fly swing, right? Make the good cast. But look at that fish. Might as well just let you him go. Send him on right? his way, eh? Oh yeah. There he goes. What a day! Awesome. You know, I came excellent. out here and we, you know, we were we got we're looking for steelhead. We saw lots of them. We got a couple more days yet, yeah. but really the day today was focused on the browns. We uh, it, we hit the target areas, yeah. and uh, it really changed. Like I'm out here every day, and yesterday yeah. was really tough. Okay. Like if we hit those spots, nothing would have happened. Oh, so they weren't charging. No, they were it was out. so slow. It was difficult. It was really like today, the whole was... river today. You know, I fished the same way. We fished that pocket water, casting close to the bank, and those browns were just grabbing that. For you, they were. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. It was a very good day. So thanks a lot for coming out. Hey. You know, we've again, we got two more days to do. We do. If you want to come for a great adventure, give Kenzie a call at Cowichan River or Cowichan Wilderness. River Wilderness Lodge. River Wilderness Lodge in Cowichan Lake. Take care, conserve our waters, and we'll see you next time. We take you sport fishing on the fly. To watch all our latest sport fishing on the fly episodes and to order sport fishing on the fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.